The knowledge coalescing operator in JavaScript allows you to set a default for something if it doesn't exist. Okay, so let's have a look at a really quick example right here. If I was to say console.log zero or one, as you may know, this right here is gonna output one in the console because for this logical or here, this double pipe character, if the left side is falsy, it's gonna return the right side. So if I was to say node index.js run this script here, we of course get one in the console. Okay, now let's change this to instead be a double question mark. This here is the nullish coalescing operator. If I save this, run the script again, we can see this time we get zero in the console. That's because the nullish coalescing operator is going to only return the right side if the left side is null or undefined. That's different, of course, to the pipe, which checks for falsy. That's the key thing there, right? Because falsy values include zero and false and empty string and so on. But of course, nullish coalescing keeps your falses and your zeros and your empty strings. Let's have a look at a better example with a real life situation. Okay, this code here is for a game, all right? This here is the game config. The user is able to set up some defaults or some configuration before starting the game. In this case, they're saying the starting coins for a character or a player is gonna be 2000 coins, okay? Now, when you then build the character or the player object, you set their coins based on the starting uh, configuration, the starting coins. But we're saying here, look, if the user hasn't provided a starting coin amount, then we're gonna default to 1,000, fair enough. If I was to run this script here, we can see we of course get 2,000 coins in the console because it's taking that from here. We have 2,000, so this logical or is not gonna use the default of 1,000. But what if I was to say zero starting coins? Run the script again, we get 1,000. So this time we don't get the starting coins because of course, in this case here, we're saying zero or 1,000. Let's make this nullish coalescing instead now. We can see that of course the bug has been fixed and we get zero starting coins. That is the intention from this code here. If you were to get rid of the coins completely, try again, we get 1,000, that's perfect. Or even, even to say null, okay, it's still going to, of course, pick the 1000 because again, nullish coalescing works on undefined or null. And that is all for this video. If this one helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to Decode. And here is another video.